Hi boys and girls, this is your old pal Uncle Al. And today I got my notes. Oh Lord. Uh, it's story time to uh, inspire John. Please check out his channel, everybody else is doing. Also check out Le Le Leanne Henman and Dubai. Go check out his channel. The little guy that joined our group. Um you know, check them out. I did. He did something with uh, a slingshot. Ah, that right there. Or maybe over there. Ah, it's one of these homemade. I use a lot smaller. Mine's a lot older and stronger. And, you know, we got to stop the uh, whatever Will was saying on just in time prepping. The communists. I think it was communists. Or Democrats or whoever, uh, Donald Trump. You know who I'm talking about. Anyway, the story time for Inspired John. Anyway, uh, let's see. Before I go on to the story, uh, do a couple of shout outs real quick. Rob Painless, please check out his channel. Hey, Rob. Steve Foco. I'll get to the place where my it brings bad memories. Also, I had a stroke, so I don't remember too much. Now, my safe there was in a big 55 gallon drum filled with cement, and the safe was in it. So, unless you're like King Kong or have a big cart, or you know, you could lift 55 pounds drum of cement, it wasn't going anywhere. Unfortunately, the heat got it. So that went. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Mike Kenton's survival and prepping. Like I said, I check out everybody's channel. I got about 250 of them. I do check it out. Uh, Panhandle Preparedness. Go check out Trent's channel in uh, Panhandle, Texas. Uh, Jordan Jakenberg. Check out his channel in Sweden. Inspired John. Okay, I've been hitting rain in the wrong place. Sue me. Tomorrow's Wednesday in the morning. We have Will on. In the morning on Wednesday. That's just in time prepping. So please check him out on out. And Harshman Hills, check out his Canteen Cup Tuesday video. Uh, JJR Survival. Uh, it's a conservative view by Christine. She's working on her garden. Check her out. Uh, West Wind Survival. Check out his videos. I always push these people. And Armadillo Junction. Go check out his video. Uh, it's been kind of a hectic day. I had to go to the jury duty, hang around. Gotta go back, see if he needs me. And let's see. Um, I'm kind of tired. It's been right now outside the 103 plus. Some places it's like 106. Six. I live out in the de old desert port. We terraformed it a lot, but if you know history, before air, AC, air conditioning, irrigation, uh, moving hills, this whole area is desert. All right, that's where they get the name Riders of the Purple Plain. Because of the purple sagebrush that used to live out here. And people were nuts. Baker's Field wasn't, was a stage st stop. Nobody wanted to go out there. And they discovered oil and gas. Then became a boom town. Before that, it was a stagecoach stop. Nobody had been there. You go out, stop in Bakersfield. There are three things. You take a pee. You look around. And you take a dump. It was so dry, they couldn't even grow anything. It was a desert, like this part. Okay, time for a demonetization. Yeah, weave it around. Do like couples cat. Okay, seriously, folks. YouTube's been run by the socialist uh, Google agents of destruction. Uh, they're like Hydra on Marvel's. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. 
they split off in these little branches and they're trying to ruin everybody's business. So if I was you, I'd be mad to sell because I figure out there was all the small producers, content producers, a lot of money. And one of these days we're all going to get smart, join forces, and sue the living hell out of them. All right, because they do owe us lots and lots of money, especially in Canada and the U.S., Australia, most of Europe and U.K., all right, and the other parts of the world. But they don't want to do that because they have it sealed. They're like rich and famous while we do all the work. And I don't think that's fair. So it's pirate time, folks. Okay. I did do my shout outs. Okay. Yeah, I got six minutes. Not too long. Got a new book. It's hard to find, but Uncle Alan always reads these classic books of camping and woodcraft and uh, cooking. And you pick up certain things that a lot of people miss. And I do too. So it's good because it has facts from all the way back to the 1720s. Now a lot of people are like, oh no, I'm quiet. When shit hit the fan, we're going to be fine. We all have this technology. Well, get it through your big head. All right. When it does hit the fan, all right, it's going to be like the 1840s. I don't think a lot of people will be enjoying being a peon or a smurf or a surf. That's one of those two. Uh, when you're blue and you wear a little white hat, and the other one, you wear a little white hat and still you don't get paid worth pookie. Anyway, you're going to be a surf or a peon or a slave because that was big business in the 1840s. Okay, we didn't have steam yet. And we didn't have uh, electrical. So you got to figure out what's left. Human labor. Okay. So think about it. Horses and donkeys could go so far. But you need that power to move stuff. So think about it, folks. Uncle Alan reads history and Uncle Alan knows what happens. So don't get fooled now. Uh, this morning, uh, I had kids over, so I was half hearing John's live stream. I kind of went in and out. Sorry, John. You have kids running around screaming on the muck. You only have one. I had 12. Ugh. I'm ground tired. And the heat's getting to him. But I'm full of uh, piss or pee. Can't say piss, gotta say pee, because it's PG. You can say pee. Okay, and vinegar. Yay. Uh, I've been taking a lot of drugs, so I'm tired. Uh, uh, so we, I mailed something out to Harshman Hills um, on uh, American Frontiersman and then a uh, book on primitive weaponry. I was trying to find a decent book. On woodcrafting, but it's a little complicated, and I don't want to see John chop out of his foot. He may have years as a hiker and a camper, but bushcrafting is a little, little bit different. So, what I'm going to send him uh, is this okay, 10 essentials need to stay alive. Yay! Oh, I'm glad it's getting a little tired. Oh, I fight too many enemies. Now a lot of people, I kid around a lot of people, but uh, they don't check out my old videos. I leave always a hidden message. And what, like uh, AP uh, Admiral Preparedness, uh, we have a stupid generation. And that's Generation Z and we got the Millennials. The older brothers of Generation Z. They're not Generation Zero. That doesn't sound nice. They're more like uh, Generation Zombie. Okay? 
Uh, now, zombie kids, they didn't have a chance right off. And the Boomettes did a lousy job with Generation X, their parents. So Uncle Alan's tired. So they all go to hell. Anyway, folks. Uh, uh, so, oh, I forgot the story time. I could do it in under four minutes. Uh, his uh, inspired John Blue wants to go into kindergarten. And back when I went to kindergarten, I got in there early. Uh, this is right during the end of the 50s, early 60s. First day of school. I already knew my alphabet. I knew how to read books. Uh, I knew cursive. I was very polite, went to school, got my leader hosen on, got my white shirt, my tie, got patent tie-down shoes. Back then, you didn't have tennis shoes, and if you did, it was only for basketball or outside games. So I went to kindergarten, and I dressed in my little outfit, had my little hat, uh, my leader hosen, little white shirt, my tie, uh, came to school. Um, try to say hello to the kids, and a lot of the kids were freaking out. And I said, "Why? I've been homeschooled a little bit, but uh, I thought I was a normal kid with short pants. Back then, it was starting everybody wore T-shirts and jeans. And here I showed up with a six-inch hunting knife strapped to my waist, wearing a tie and white, white long-sleeve shirt." and short leather, black leather plants with uh, suspenders. Now this is what it's like the early 60s, just out of 50s. and You can't call a lot of kids comrade. All right, if you call kids back then comrade and you didn't understand baseball and you look like me, you're the only Asian in an all white school, didn't you even have that many uh, African Americans or Latinos back then, and if you were Latinos, you were the Castilian type, the European Latinos or Spanish. And anyway, they kind of looked at me kind of strange, and um, I was just a little kid going to kindergarten. And then they had a big huff about my little friend Shirley, nice little kindergarten girl. You know, she was also, everybody was taking a look at her. And I said, she's a regular girl. Her skin's a little dark. And they called her certain names. I said, I don't like it. And I started fighting with about 20 kids. I'd never pulled out my knife. I was always stayed in the sheath with a little belt. Uh, but I didn't say anything about picking up a rock, putting it in a socket, bopping the students all over the place. I got about half of them down to the ground before the principal and the teacher stopped me. Okay, and they called my parents and they found Shirley was an African American kid. And I was standing up for her. I ain't got my ass kicked. So I had two big, big black eyes. I had a knife strapped down to my belt and I wore black leather short pants. So, not a really good first day of school. Okay, I'm bloody nose and a whole bit. And I put like 10 kids in the infirmary. Okay, so you hit a couple kids with a large rock and a sock. Hey, most of them were held back in kindergarten like about four or five times. So, imagine a little guy like me, three foot tall, versus like, what, five foot ten, five foot eleven. Five foot eight tall. I think some of them were even shaving back then in kindergarten. Okay, and they were picking on a little Afro American, African American girl back then. This was in the early 60s, and they were calling her very nasty names. So I stood up and I said, "Hey, don't call Shirley my friend those names. You're making her cry." They threw sand in my face, and I bought the first three with the rock and a sock because I was smart. I knew cursive. I read the Bible. And I know how to use a rock and a sock. Okay, two weeks later, Shirley moved to Oakland with her parents. And I stayed behind. And I told everybody in the classroom, who wants to fight? Of course, I was expelled for a couple of weeks in kindergarten. 
You know, they get really mad if you bring a tomahawk to school. Well, that's my story time for uh, kindergarten. I hope inspired John to have a great time in kindergarten. Don't be like Uncle Al and cause uh, panic or, or uh, whatchamacallit, fear or, or get to see the school psychologist and go to a, a special classes. They I did a test. And they found out that I write cursive and I read the Bible and, and they did a test on me and they thought I was retarded. I fooled them. I scored on the IQ test about 160 or something. And most of them, their jaws dropped. So anyway, I waited until my father and you know, stopped, stopped talking and I was outside just minding my own business outside of principal office when I'm a kindergartner. I was smoking my camel, so I didn't get a crap. Okay. I know. I smoked for a long time. And a lot of kids says, oh, little kids shouldn't be smoking. And I told the little kids, well, that's another story. <laughs> anyway, smoked my camel, sit, drank my milk, waited, didn't like nap time. Asked the teacher, could I go outside and smoke? She took my cigarettes, and well, that's another story. Okay, folks, like and subscribe to Old Uncle Al. Now, Leon, if you're watching my um, uh, video on this, don't do that. You're nine years old. Smoking's bad for you. And don't beat up your enemies with a sock and a rock. doesn't help, especially when you give two of them a concussion. Hey, it was a tough little kindergarten. So I'll catch you later. And I got another video, but it's hot. But I'll do that later. I got this thing running me a lot. But John, on how to bushcraft. Got to learn all this stuff. I thought he wasn't a Boy Scout. But, you know, I know he knows sailor knots. And, and uh, hasn't lassoed yet. He only has like, what, 10 feet of rope? You need about 50 feet of rope. Oh, I'm getting old. Catch you later, folks. Hit like or subscribe to Old Uncle Al, a.k.a. Die Bullfrogs uh, 79. Bye.